Um, hang on. Let me go to your screen. All right. I'm ready. All right. So, number one, they got Lil Uzi Vert. Number one? What? Oh, I don't know. Uh, we was all wrong. <laughs> they are. They just know everybody on this bitch. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who website, but this is just you know. I don't know about number one. I mean, you could go. They to gotta be. They could, gotta be a uh, little go Uzi's XL, website. But, but double XL, they be they be getting paid by look, the look, artists. Look, so look, the the list is fucked up because Luda Uzi is number one. But when I pull up number two, we gonna be like, <laughs> yeah, they correct, they accurate. <laughs> no, it needs to be reversed. Drake over Uzi for sure. Nah, he, I I even put Drake over Uzi. But um, so they got Drake at number two. You a Uzi? This nigga been I ain't gonna lie, Drake. This nigga been on top since two thousand and seven. God damn it! Right. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, he consistent. This nigga been reigning for Drake like, is consistent. Y'all, y'all have to yeah. put everything together. Everything is a package. Like I fuck with J Cole the long way. I spent money on that nigga's concerts. Probably only one of the only niggas I really have spent bread on a concert. But at the end of the day, he's also very boring to watch in concert. So what do y'all think about Yeah, Lil, Drake, Lil uh, Lil J. Cole is boring. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> he was like, like, that I was sweet, went, but I, I don't feel it. I ain't feeling it. If it ain't in the car so loud as fuck on my time, J. Cole is a terrible performer, dog. Like, we went to his his last um his last uh <laughs> tour. <laughs> J. Cole's nigga, um, he was probably sitting down, wasn't he? <laughs> yes. J. Cole's last tour was the off-season yes. tour. It was the off-season nigga... tour. It was back in 2021, and I was about to fall asleep. Yeah, that see, nigga is sit down. He know good, he born. Some people are good to listen to, but if you in person and you trying to be in, or if you trying to be in the club listening to some shit, the niggas who got less lyrical lyrics are the ones that's going to get you more excited to have, you know, you smoking, you drinking, you want the good vibes. But anyway, number three, they got. Well, you know what? Uh, what about baby. Twenty One Savage though? Twenty One Savage, little baby. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to work my somebody, way through the somebody, list. Somebody, somebody fucking with little baby though, dog. Because I don't know how little baby just not exactly. selling his albums, bro. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's stay on the list here. You know, we got number three, little baby. You know, is this is this valid or they just got the shit wrong? Nah, abort. Polo G, fuck out of here. <laughs> nah, go to go to double XL. I'd rather go and go with that with, we, with we, them by we, 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 we can hit them next. So number five, oh yeah, of course they they're gonna have the white boy over here, Eminem. All right, but don't lie, Eminem do got that flow, even if he is racist like Shay say. All right, but Kendrick <laughs> over Eminem. Come on now. Kendrick at number five. Oh, look, look at six. Never even said that. Look at J. six Cole. and look at seven. <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> look at six and look at seven. That's funny that we just compared them to and they do German that. American rapper. What the fuck? I'm Since when did you think of German? Oh yeah, yeah. You ain't seen a picture you. of his mom. His mom is white. Uh, uh, little Oosley, who you picking? J Cole or or um or Kendrick? Kendrick. Overall, overall. I'm taking Kendrick. When did I say Martha right. was racist? Huh? When did I say Martha was racist? Eminem, yeah. remember you said that song uh, that... Um, then he called that some black lady a bitch or something back in the day. Yeah, I saw like you that. said that. And then he was making fun of Michael Jackson the day we were talking about that. No. I well, everybody was making was fun racist. of Michael Jackson. I said that he was All right. clowning him in that song. Yeah, everybody, said everybody. That, that Eminem was racist, and I was like, "Damn, I, I never really listened to a lot of his songs." And then we said that he was um, making fun of Michael Jackson. Uh, I do know one, one thing, ho. Bitches, they come and go. So no, you, yeah, when you, you, you uh, on the plane or you in the way you at in the air? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, you on Simpson Road? Huh? I'm in the runway. Oh, Let's go. Is you in zone one yet, yeah, girl? Let's see what outfit you got on the runway. <laughs> Boy, I got on leggings and a sweater. Yeah, that's, that's, that shit sounds wonderful. That's appropriate. <laughs> I love face. You <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. So, um, I forgot. I got to. 
you know, me. Yo, Dre, Tom. you got to take Dre. Dre, you got to take Shay out to dinner tonight. Now she's in the A. Shit. I ain't going nowhere. I mean, when your fast is done. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> My Dre said he ain't going nowhere. Get, he ain't going to eat that night. Where the fuck was you at with, uh... So, yeah, uh, you know, we're going to, yeah, we're going to link me, her, and Tanya, we're going to link, but, uh... Um, Why are the bad bitches moving to Houston, Texas? So, they got... What is it about Texas? They got Megan at number eight. Megan no, the Stallion? I'm not, I'm, I'm not nah. at... Nah. And then they I'm, got, uh, you know what? I'm going to tell you the truth. Some no. about these women, they are coming harder than these niggas, bro. No, they are. They are. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think... I think there's other female rappers that deserve that spot. Like who? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm putting Nick there. I'm, I'm put, I'm it's, it's, it's either her or Cardi B. I'm putting... No, Cardi B don't even make her own lyrics. I'm putting Nikki. Come on now. Even though Nikki a bitch, we can't... But we Nikki can't just... Put out nothing in like I'm, putting, I'm putting Key Glock, Key Glock over both them bitches. He, no, we're talking about women, though. Oh, okay. All right. I'm taking Thames over everyone. So, at number 10, they got Young Thug. Oh, hey, Dre. I don't even Dre, listen Dre, to this shit. Dre, Dre, that reminds me. I got another reaction video. It's uh, it's Young Thug talking about how, how like, he signed Gunna, and they've been really good friends for 10 years, and he never took a dollar from Gunna's money in that, like, his best friend told him to take care of Gunna and shit like that. It'd just be a crazy video to react to, considering oh, yeah, the yeah, circumstances. We, we, def we definitely gonna get it. Uh, let's see. Man, Jack Harlow. I don't even know why they, they even be hyped. Nah, that out. album. Nah, he, he, nah. He nah. He, like, I, I like him, but he flops every other album. It's just Lil, not like... Lil Nas X. Nah. Um, uh, the pregnant nigga. Jack Harlow is like Nav. Like they got some hit. They got some songs. Don't get me wrong. But Nav is better. Nav is better than Jack Harlow. No, definitely. But I'm saying like I, they both have some songs. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not putting them in nobody's list. Oh yeah, no, not at all. But I take Nav over Jack Harlow. Anyway. Yeah, I would take Nav over Jack Harlow too. Just because, just because he's who, more neither one of them niggas is, is dog. That's Jack crazy. Harlow flops exactly. every other. Now album. you wouldn't know who Nav is or Jack. Well, Jack Harlow, you should at least know just because he's white and he'd be more like you know they'd be. Talking about his ass, but Nav, Nav is, is a, Nav is a ricky ticky ticky ticky. Who? <laughs> well, I don't know that. Oh, <laughs> no, he <laughs> said Nav is a ring a ding a ring a ring a ding a ring. No, I think he's Arabic actually. Number thirteen, Gunna. Yeah, now nah, Gunna got Gunna got flow for sure. Yeah, Gunna is nice as fuck. Yeah, Gunna is nice, and his shit sounds so effortless. Yeah, he be rap. He like he raps so well that it's like you be like, damn, like. Maybe I could do a personal dialogue over. No, it, yeah, like, he be, yeah. Like he's yeah. like he's he's rapping, but he's almost speaking at the same time. Well, baby, like, baby said that Gunna taught him that Gunna is the one who helped him become better at his at, at rapping. Did I need Gunna to help me get better at rapping? Nah, because this Gunna album is way better. Like I'm sorry, I'm Young Thug forever. Like free my no, nigga till the but his album is terrible. That new Gunna album is fucking That new Gunna fire. album? Oh, my God. My car was on fire while it was playing. Every time I, I got to, in the car. I start listening to some music, because uh, I ain't heard none of this. I mean, I work out, so it's, you know, music, and I love music. Number 14, they got your girl, Nicki Minaj. Nah, get my girl Megan spot. Stop it. No. Mm. I, I, I like Kalani over all shit. those women you just named. Oh Ooh. no, Kal I mean Kalani definitely. I would put Kalani. Cause she can she shit. can rap and she could sing, and she raps better than the rappers and sings. Yeah, I would put I would put Kalani over Megan for sure. Who this? I put a bunch of Detroit niggas over all, everybody y'all just said, like Cash Doll over Nikki. Nah, I mean I'm fuck with Cash Doll, but not over Nikki. Come on now. Who this joint? This be a joint. Oh yeah, she's a R and B. She's like a she's like a, 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 a what's her name. Uh, a SZA. She's like a SZA, Bia. Okay. Bia, Bia. She's the one who sings the Bodega uh, song. So she ain't even what song? She's more like Ice Spice. Ice Spice took her flow. I don't know. I don't listen to Bia like that. I, I've, I've just... I, mean, I just thought from that was, one song alone, Ice Spice could have rapped that. I thought All right, she was... Um, so basically, on to the next person then. Nah, I don't listen. I don't like Bia like that. I don't listen. Only the Koi Bodega song. It was, Lorraine. It was catchy. I think she performed at the BET Awards last night. I believe it was her, and I was pretty impressed. Who? 
This shorty here, number 16, Koi. Oh, yeah, Koi. Koi, like, Koi got I, a little. Like, I've Koi, seen the Koi, name, Koi. but I ain't never really hear yeah. nothing from her until I seen the videos last night. I still think she's trash, but that's just me. Stop it. She's not trash, but I wouldn't put her in with no greats or not like women who can really rap. But yeah, she like, she, push it. like she for me, coach. for me, I for me, I could tell. Right now. For me, I could tell if you're good enough if if I'm bumping your music and you're and you're a woman because it's like I only listen to bitches that are nice. So it's like if I'm bumping that shit, then he's nice. I would never put on Coyle Ray in my life ever, especially in front of people. Coyle Ray is Jeez. like a like a Tory Lane. Like they they'll they'll no. they'll do no, a like flow a or like another beat. Tory would Can never you? talk to you ever again if he heard you say that, Bree. Exactly. He might <laughs> no, shoot but you for in real. your foot, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> Tory Tory's turning he, he over in his cell nobody. right now. So he, he didn't do no body. Oh. I need to get me another fucking new seat. This chair killing Free my nigga Tory till it's backwards. So Weedy is still trying to like build her career. I feel like she don't even really got fans like that. Okay, where's the this from? music shit? This music shit is not easy, man. Nah, I'm it not gonna not lie. Easy. Uh, um, um, Sweetie fucked up. She needed she needed Quavo. She fucked up there. So what I'm saying is, is um, she was Sweetie, beating like, that nigga. Her angle was to make mainstream like TikTok songs, and Koi took that, and then she started doing it, and Sweetie fell off. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -mm. This this man was trying to get at me so hard. He asked me if the wheelchair was for me. Do I look like so, I needed wheelchair assistance? Like, fuck <laughs> he was out like, of here. He was like, "Hey, you." He said, Marina, "He said you Marina. so bad you can't even walk." Low key, that's what he said. <laughs> I know he did because you in Atlanta. They say all types of crazy shit. So, hey, Sean. Oh, no, I gotta pee. Someone's going to say some crazy shit like, damn, you the most beautiful girl I've never seen. Where are you from? <laughs> Where your mama and them at? They make you feel good in the A. They they really do. You be like, damn, I knew I was bad, but I didn't know I was this bad. Say, so where your daddy at? I'm going to that nigga hand. <laughs> when, when you got a lot of black men around you, it, it, it it's good because they going to, they going to, uh, they gonna let you know they being thirsty. So boom, push a T number seventeen. Boo. Nah, I mean Pusha got some Pusha got some rhymes. Fabio Foreman, number eighteen. Bobby, I mean, he's the one who put pop smoke onto drill rap, to be honest. Oh really? Yeah. It's big it's not to him out BOA. Yeah, I mean Fabi Fabi I you know, Fabi and Pop was mad close. Okay, well, so you got some something popping going on. Number nineteen, Lil they, Dirt. They just claim they just claim he's uh undercover. They claim he what? <laughs> he's undercover. Jay, I just added you in the studio. Look what I sent. <laughs> You're gonna laugh. Okay, who's next? <laughs> Number nineteen, Lil Dirt. No. Uh, I mean, that nigga Dirk, is trash Dirk, to me. I don't know why everybody yeah. thinks he's so good. Now, nah, Dirk First needed that like cosign from Drake. If if Dirk never got that cosign from Drake, I don't think he'd be where he's at right now. I thought he came yeah. up under King Vaughn or whatever. No, he came up uh uh under uh Chief Keith, but he fell off for a long time. Then Drake brought him back in the what 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 Not song Drake was that? Back. Yeah, Drake, he, we yeah, were, Drake brought him we back were, to the dead. Yeah, he did, because we wasn't checking for Dirk no more. We wasn't. All right, well, boom. I used to I used to fuck with Dirk heavy. I used to fuck with all Chicago rappers heavy. G Herbo, all of them, but they fell off. So what about Tiger at number 20? What? Oh, this, this list is retarded. All right, we almost done. We almost done. Let's see. 21, future. Yeah, for sure. I'm surprised he's that low. Number twenty-two. Oh, so K, K Fly. You got future at the bottom. Yeah, I don't know why they got few that low. That's disrespectful. Tyler the Creator at twenty-three. People love that nigga. I don't know. I I could never oh, get behind Tyler. Okay. 
Number 24. Oh, on, yeah, yeah, this list. Know. I don't know why they got DMX on here. They, I don't know. They you wild. should at least know who Tyler, Tyler, the creator is. The Migos at number 26. And number, Migos at 26? Yeah, I, I would think for these young niggas, Migos will be ranked higher. Yeah, what what is this? Is was this like a survey or where did they get this information? I, I don't know, but we almost at the end, so we okay. Might, we might, yeah, it's only thirty one, so we only. No, no, I was just wondering. I want to keep going. I was just wondering where they're getting their like where these numbers are where where this list you know. Yeah, it's probably some old ho niggas who just do some shit together. But um, Roddy Rich, who is this nigga, and is he even you know? They don't like Roddy Rich, bro. I don't know what it is, but they don't like him. Everyone always is like he's trash. I mean, his he first fell album. Off was, bad. Yeah, I don't know. See, I liked his last album. I mean, it wasn't like his first album, but that's how what's his name was Bryson Tiller. Bryson Tiller and 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 Roddy Rich had the same trajectory. They were hot, hot. Like their first albums were fire. Then they just never, never, never came back. <laughs> mm, what about this cat, Baby King? All right, Baby King's the sleeper, so he's about, he he's he could be a legend. He could go down as a legend. Oh, but... Isn't he really young? I, I have I don't know no his. He's, too, he's know. super he's super young, but he's good. He's good. Yeah, my sure. little cousins that are nineteen and twenty listen to him. I think. All right, moving on, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, she paid to get on this list to show. Yeah, I mean, I take Baby Keem over Pusha T, Little Dirk. Uh, a whole. I just, I just like his music better. It's funner to listen to. He's, Not he's funner. like, he's kind, he's kind of like a fucking. He's kind of like a, a young thug meets Kendrick. Like the way he spits, like he just be doing like, you know, he he'll fuck around with the flow. Like you know, a young thug will be like, give it to me, yeah, and then like in the middle of the verse, like he's that type of like artist. I'm surprised they don't have what's his name on this list. Post Malone, yeah, this list is definitely Not trash. Post- yeah, what what's that guy's name that he just he was just on tour with? He was just on tour with Future. My homegirls love him. He does R and B, but but rap. I'm gonna um, cut this recording for right now because I have a meeting, a half hour, um, you know, interview I gotta do with some potential new person that ain't going to end up working with us, but yeah, I'm like, I thought your company was what exactly. But, um, when I come back at five 30, we can go through this one of these other lists, like either ranker or whatever this is, um, hip hop. No, you can go to triple XL Dre and see what, see what they talking about. So yeah, we'll do that when I come back. Okay. All right. So I'm about to end the recording. At least All right, see you in a little, little bit. Joints in the archive here.